I found my unicorn. So let's get started. I'm so glad that you've clicked on this channel and grateful that you are here. I hope you enjoy the makeover. I am here every week and would love to have you along on the journey. My name is Sarah and this is 445 Designs. I have already stripped the hutch part of it. Because it was blue, it was hard to tell, right? If it's real wood or not. When I got it home and I started stripping the top, it's solid oak, it's solid, it's solid, solid. It is a solid piece. Facebook Marketplace, $50. That's not, oh, that's not too bad, considering that it's a China hutch. Um, but I had a time and a half trying to find something. When I found this, it had been up for weeks. She had painted it and sort of gave up halfway through. This, these pieces, these uh, rather pulls are not original to the piece. And uh, you can see that the door is completely off there. The screw head has come off completely. So that's gonna be a fun task to get off. Today, we are going to be stripping this guy back completely, sanding it and giving it a whitewash. I'm not painting over it. I have been wanting to do this bleached look to a piece. If you've been following along with me, I've attempted to do it a few times and the piece is dictated otherwise, but this solid wood piece, and I believe it's oak, is the piece. I found my unicorn. So let's get started. These pulls are really cheap as well. Not cheap looking, but cheaply made. I just broke one when I pulled it off back. So. So I just took my, this is the, a husky nail remover thing, and cut the bits that were sticking out. This was sticking out a little bit. This is Thanksgiving break for my family, so I don't have to homeschool. I'm just working for this whole week. So I'm gonna keep trucking along. Mask, gloves, old chip brush. I'm using the clean strip. Going to leave that for about 15 minutes and come back and scrape it off. In the meantime, I'm going to attack the base. That was a 
huge day, but I got everything accomplished that I was hoping to get done, so I'm very pleased about that. I'm jumping in here really quickly because I wanted to say thank you to a couple of people over on my Buy Me A Coffee page, Marcella, Catherine, and to Joella. I hope I said that right. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate your support. It really is humbling that you would choose to do that for me. And I also wanted to say thank you to Emily from Reconstructing Emily. She got me. I'm so excited to use it. It's a, a scraper. I have been looking at others who have used this and I put it on my Amazon wish list and she got it for me. Thank you so much. Yesterday my son came up to me in the afternoon. I was in here working. He was like, Mom, there's a package for you on the step. And I was like, oh, I didn't order anything. Deep Decker. Thank you so much. I got these beautiful furniture legs. I can't way to use them two boxes of them you are phenomenal and I am completely floored by all of your generosity I appreciate you guys appreciate you guys so much all right let's get back into the makeover I'm gonna get moving so I can warm up <laughs> white washing furniture is not hard the hardest part right is picking the color let me turn this sideways I'm loving this look. I'm loving the chunks of paint that are purposely left behind. I don't want I don't want it all off and just smooth wood. That's a look, but this is also a look and <laughs> this is what I'm going for. Rustic, the chippy sort of look, but not full chippy. I don't want mostly paint and some chipping off. I want mostly wood and chips of paint left on it. I don't want to lose too much of the brown. I'm really enjoying this variation in the wood but I want it washed out as well so here we go what I always say I hate it I'll just paint over it no I won't I'll take the paint off <laughs> it's the opposite of that problem okay so I'm using DIY paint in crinoline it's this beautiful cream color there we go look at that a creamy white okay I've dipped it ever so slightly in the paint you could water it down and I, I probably will end up doing that but I've wiped a lot of it off soaking the brush wetting the piece and hoping for the best so here we go Seriously, I've been in the garage for 45 minutes trying to decide on a colour and uh, I was annoying myself so I was just like, just start, just do something Sarah. Happy with that, very happy with that.
All right, I'm experimenting. I'm using DIY paint in prairie gray. That's not gonna be a perfect coat. I mean, I wanna cover up that yellow because the yellow's got nothing to do with anything else on the buffet. I'm gonna leave some of the blue poking through and I'm gonna build layers. So I'm gonna start with this, let it dry, and then come back over the top of it. All right, so I started, I don't know where my head was, but. On the parts of the raw wood, right, I already knew some tannins were showing up and I don't know where my head was. When you put top coat on, it's drawing the tannins up out the wood. I am alright to seal on the inside because I didn't sand back to bare wood, I just scuff sanded and painted over it, so it's, there's a barrier between the tannins and the top coat. I'm going to top coat on the inside here as well as the backing board. Now I wouldn't put top coat on like this normally but I'm using DOI paint, the clay based paint, right? And I'm not worried about brush strokes. Or anything like that so I could be a little more slap happy if you will. All right, let me show you what I was talking about. I only did a little bit so I'm gonna have to sand back what I did and re whitewash it and then once that's dry wax it. So I'm gonna wax everything. I should have done that in the first place but anyway you live and you learn. Seal this now in DIYs wax, clear wax. You just simply put it on and then let it dry overnight, I believe it is. Yep, overnight. And then you wax it off. So I'm trying not to be too heavy handed with it actually because I don't want to <laughs> rub all the whitewash off. It's coming together. I'm so happy with it. I love it so much. Today what I need to do is buff off all of the wax, but most of it has really just soaked into the wood. And I've gone through my hardware stash and found some hardware that is the exact measurements of the holes, so I don't have to go out and buy new hardware. Yay! And I want to do a little something special to the sides of the drawers. This is... Some paper I got from Amazon. I'll put the link below if I can find it. It's by Jim Holtz, I Ideology. And this one is just a floral, like rice paper.
you guys haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. It goes a long way to throwing my little channel out there into the ocean of bigger channels. And so <laughs> I appreciate it very much. This was a beast of a piece to make over. I had to strip through two layers of paint from the previous owner and it took me like three days to do. I did a little bit each day, but it took me three days to strip the whole thing. But then, you know, once I got to the whitewash, it was pretty straightforward. I totally forgot, <laughs> began to top coat as you guys saw and uh, realized my mistake and stopped very quickly and had to wax the whole piece and just fix that drawer and it's good as gold. This look, you guys, this is totally me. This is my look. I love it. I love the chipped vintage, cottage core, shabby chic, all of that. That's totally me and I just love that look. So I'm so excited that I finally found a piece that worked with me. I've been dying to whitewash a piece for ages and haven't found a piece to do it on. But this guy cooperated. Comment below, let me know what you think of this. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am so thankful for you guys. I hope you're having a great week and I would love to see you on next week's video. Bye guys.